For the past five years, I've had over 20 streams of income in my online wellness business, with all but one of those streams being passive. To say I am a big fan of this business model is a complete understatement. And what's interesting to me is that I don't see enough business owners taking advantage of all the income opportunities they have at their fingertips. So I am here to change that. In this episode, I'm going to take you behind the scenes of my business and share more about each one of those income streams, plus give you 10 passive income ideas that you can add to your business too. So stay tuned. Hey there, I'm Sean Miner, and this is Unstuck Entrepreneur. I'm a former nutritionist who turned a struggling, stressful nutrition practice into a thriving, freedom-filled online business where I work from home in my sweatpants while reaching and helping thousands of people all at the same time. Now I'm obsessed with showing other heart-centered coaches, practitioners, and solopreneurs how to build a business and life they love. Consider this podcast your safe space to learn both the inner work and practical strategies required to build the impactful, profitable business of your dreams. No hustle, grind, or long hours required. That's right, hustle culture, not welcome here. Let's get into today's session. Hey, hey there, friends. Welcome back to the Unstuck Entrepreneur Podcast. So happy to have you here chatting all about passive income. This is like such a big topic in the online business space and just kind of almost like this buzzword going on. So we're going to talk all about it, the good, the bad, the ugly, because, well, really, there's very little bad or ugly, but we'll talk a lot about the good and the little bit of bad that comes with passive income in this episode, and I'm even going to like open up my books and share with you where all of my income comes from in my business, because it's not all from one or two or even five places. We got a lot of different income streams over here, and I'm going to share them with you so you can see how possible this is for you too. Before we get into that, just a final reminder, this is your last chance. This is the last time I'm going to be talking about this. The Niche Confident class is going on now, and it's going up to its permanent forever price in a matter of days. In just a few days, it will go up over 50%. So right now, you can get this complete niche training for over 50% off for the next few days only before it bumps up to its forever pricing. Niche Confident, what the heck am I even talking about? It is a course specifically for the business owner who has never done any formal training to get clear on, to define, and to start marketing towards their niche or niche or dream client or ideal customer or whatever you want to call it. I see a lot of people and a lot of my clients, a lot of people that have been in my programs, they think they have a niche. They think it's specific enough. They think they are marketing and talking to these people, but they're not. And so now it's time for you to get honest with yourself and really see, are you attracting the people that you want to work with? Are you being specific enough in your content? Are there these people actually in your audience or are you struggling to do that? Are you struggling to find these people? Are you struggling to say the right things? Are you struggling to have them connect with you? And most importantly, are you having people become paying clients to the degree in which you want them to, aka are you making the money that you want to make? Are you creating the income that you want to create in your business? And if not, if the answer is no to any of that, you need to change that and you need to get to the root cause of what is going on there. And it starts with knowing and speaking to and honing in and getting really clear and confident in your 
niche or niche. And that is what we are going to do in Niche Confident together. This is your chance to get in. Listen, you did not get into business to struggle your way through, to put out content that nobody engages with, to not make the money that you want to make, and to just feel this like lackluster thing about what you're doing in your business. And knowing your niche is the first step, and it really is the catalyst that will drive everything else. Once you are confident in your niche, guess what else you're going to be confident in? Like everything. It really does guide everything and really does create that entire system and your entire energetic expression of your business. So let's start with that. And I've made it extremely accessible so you all can get the proper training that you need in this area of your business. So seanminer.com slash niche spelled N-I-C-H-E. SeanMiner.com slash niche to get in on that and the special pricing for a few more days only. Okay, let's get into this chat about passive income. What is passive income in the first place? I think it's important to start here and really also talk about is it actually truly passive? Because that is a big misconception in this world, I think, this online business space. So the way that I see passive income is any income that isn't directly dependent or tied to your time. Like the amount of money that you make isn't capped by the amount of time you can put in or the amount of time you've worked. A non-passive income would be like one-on-one client work where you get paid when you get a one-on-one client and you spend time with that one-on-one client just the two of you. That is how you make money. And then to make more money, that means that you are taking more time to be with more clients. So you're increasing your client load if you want to increase your income, which also means you're increasing your workload. That is not passive. So if it's passive, that means that you can increase your income without really changing much of anything in terms of the workload that you have, the time you spend, that kind of thing. So that is the difference between the two. We're talking about passive income today. Now, I think that this buzzword, buzz phrase, is a little misleading because Uh, It makes it seem like it's completely hands off and you don't have to do anything and money just flows into your bank account while you're sleeping, while you're on vacation. And that is absolutely true. That does happen for some of your passive income streams. But that doesn't mean and it shouldn't go unnoticed all of the work that you did to get to that point where you could be sleeping and make money. You could be on vacation and be making money. There's a lot of work, a lot of time spent to get to that point. And there may even be some work that you're still actively doing. It's just you're spending your time a little differently. And most importantly, that time that you are spending is not determining the income that you are available to make. So the time that you are spending working on your business, working in your passive income streams is actually spent doing things that will increase your income, increase your impact exponentially while creating time and energy for you away from work. I hope this all is making sense. I'm just spitfiring some words here (laughs) and going with it. So hopefully that makes sense. But very rarely is income entirely passive, entirely hands-off, and it's just rolling in while you do absolutely nothing. I do personally have some of those passive, like truly passive income streams, but that also doesn't take away from the fact that at one time I was working really hard to get those up and running. I was spending months of time in some cases getting them to that point to where Uh, they could be entirely passive. And we'll talk about some of those because some of them are actually really easy and have been really easy and very little time taken to make them truly entirely passive. But what typically happens in most cases is that when you have a passive income stream, 
You are instead spending most of your time marketing that product, creating content around that product, serving the clients and customers that have purchased that product, fiddling around with the back end of that product to uh, see if it can be more optimized, work a little better, that it's still working, that it's doing what it's supposed to do, all the back end stuff. So it still does require time, energy, and effort from you, but that time, energy, and effort doesn't directly correlate to the amount of sales you make or the income you produce. We got it. I think we got it. Let me go into my examples now. So ever since I'd say 20, probably mid-2017, I have had around 20 streams of income in my business at any given time and all but one of them have been passive. So the one active, I guess we'll call it, uh, stream of income is having one-on-one clients, which I have done on and off over the years. First of all, I am an affiliate for, I'd say about 10 different brands that I still actively receive payouts from. Some I talk about and reference today, others I do not, but I still get that payout. So today, there are software and tools that I use in my business that have made my life a ton easier, that I super love, that have made my business more impactful and really helped me grow my business that I now share with others. So I talk about them when it's appropriate. I share about them in my programs. I write emails, blog posts maybe potentially on social media, talking about them as well. And most importantly, I am consistently working to build an audience of people who want to hear about these products. So I would say probably about five of those 10 brands I'm actively talking about today. But then there are others that I haven't talked about in a long time. I'm talking years but I still get payouts from them on a monthly basis. And this is because, ding, ding, ding here, listen up. (laughs) I wrote blog posts and created podcast episodes where I referenced those products a long time ago and they are still out there in the world. And so people are still using my link to purchase those products and I'm making affiliate commissions. I'm thinking about one in particular right now. It's called Sir Thrival, and it is bovine colostrum. And I wrote a a blog post about my experience using it for my autoimmune disease in probably 2014, 2015 maybe. It still is one of my most popular pages on my website. People still read that blog post from years and years and years ago purchase the colostrum to help them with their autoimmune disease, and I get a payout. And this is however many years ago, and it probably took me, um, you know, an hour or two hours at the most to write that blog post. And here we are years later, and I'm still getting that return. So that's an example of how it really truly can be passive, first of all, because I'm not doing, I haven't ever talked about that really anywhere else except that blog post. And it can also be a situation where you don't have to spend a lot of time, energy, and effort getting it to that point either. This is where breaking that idea of I need to work harder to make more money, which is like my, it's ingrained in my head so deeply from so many past generations of my family. That is a very big belief that I constantly struggle with. But that just breaks it right there. That proves it wrong over and over and over again every single month, every single time I see that go into my PayPal account, the affiliate commissions for that, I know it's not true. I don't have to work harder to make more money. I just found a product I really super loved that really worked for me in a problem that I was experiencing. I shared my honest experience and what it did for me. I put it out into the world for people to know about that information too And here we are, uh, let's see, six, seven years later. Really, really cool stuff there. And this is also just a reminder to you, first of all, and we'll talk about this, um, 
create a partnership with brands you love, see if they have an affiliate system to become an affiliate for them. And so reminder for that, but also a reminder that the content that you are creating now in your evergreen type content, which would be blog posts, podcast episodes, YouTube videos, the stuff that you're putting in there lives forever. And so remember that, you know, even if you write a blog post and five people read it today, how many people are going to read it in the coming years? And uh, the impact that it could make, whether it has a a link to a product you love or not, just the impact that it can make for years and years and years to come. So keep that in mind too. They live on and they gain a life of their own in some cases. So I have about three or four probably other brands that are like that where I have, like I said, podcast episodes from years ago that people are still listening to and still using those links. So that right there is about 10 of my income streams, 10 ways I make money every month. Now I also have my courses and programs. So right now I have three courses and one program that are actively on my website and I'm sharing about them regularly. They're going on, they are available for purchase. Uh, I talk about them a lot here. I talk about them on my social media channels. Uh, I write blog posts that link to them, all of that stuff. And that's Launch List Accelerator, Holistic Business Starter, and Niche Confident. Those are my three courses, actively promoting them right now. I also have one program, my signature program, which is kind of meta here, Signature Program Lab, where I teach others how to create your own passive income stream. Weird. How weird is that? Uh, By way of a signature program. So that is a program because I am actively in there. I'm holding uh, coaching calls and office hours and things like that. So it's more of a program, not so much a course. So these four income streams are by far the bulk of my day-to-day work, not necessarily creating them. I already did that and it took a while to create all of those. Yes, I'm not going to lie. It takes a while. It takes probably a couple months to really create a good course, a good program. And uh, But that's already done. And so now I really spend my time in the sales and marketing department of these courses and program. I'm working on launching them and doing the work behind the scenes to get a launch prepped for these. I'm supporting the people going through. I'm working on the back end of it. I'm creating content around them to get people interested and involved if they want to be. And most importantly, I'm building an audience of people that are a good fit for these programs and courses. So that is where a large, large, large chunk of the work I'm doing day to day is going right now. Now, I also have one other course that I don't actively promote that still sells regularly. From past podcast episodes, I have blog posts that go to it. I have freebies out there in the world that go to it. Now, it's not even on my website actively. There is a sales page for it but you can just go to my website and find it right now. But this is all coming from past content, content that I created years ago that is still working in my business. So once again, that reminder, what you are doing today in the evergreen sense, so this does not necessarily apply to social media or anything like that, but these evergreen pieces of content that you are creating will go on to work for you and your business for years to come. So yes, I still have uh, that course going on behind the scenes that does sell that is entirely passive at this point. But of course, a lot of work went into creating that and creating a whole business around that and all the podcast episodes. I mean, I basically had an entire podcast that was just directed to this one course. And so 130 podcast episodes that now lead to that course. And so yeah, a lot of active work at the time that then is still now working for me passively. I then also have an ebook that I don't talk about or promote at all, but still sells from years ago. So I 
wrote this ebook. It's actually a workout routine, a four week workout program for people who have autoimmune disease or adrenal issues or hormone issues that need to take it easy on their bodies, but still want to keep or get fit uh, in their own way and being gentle with all of that. So really cool thing, a really cool program I created. Gosh, this was back in 2015 or 2016, I think, to created this ebook, wrote a blog post that links to it. And I put that blog post up on Pinterest and have some pins to that. And it took off. Uh, And it is a really popular, another really popular blog post that I still have on my website. And it links to that ebook and people buy that ebook. So again, super duper passive at this point on my end, wasn't always the case, did the right things to make it so that it could be passive now and it will continue to work for me and my business. So those are, I think I've covered them all. There might be more, but you know, then I also, of course, like I said, have one-on-one coaching as well, which I do when it feels like the right time in my business. I do offer one-on-one coaching. It went from nutrition coaching to mindset coaching to now being business coaching. And I do offer one-on-one business coaching. So if that's something you're interested in, send me a direct message on Instagram and we can talk about that uh, at Sean Minor over there. So that is not passive. That is active. I am working with you. I am deep in Uh, your business world and helping you build that. So very active. But as you can see, I now have the capacity to do that and to kind of be more picky about when I take one-on-one clients, what kind of one-on-one clients I take and how many and all of that stuff because I have created this space in my business to do so because of these passive income streams and the majority of them being passive. The majority of the ways that I make income is in this passive sense. And I hope you know by now how passionate I am about helping you get there too, because it's really challenging to do it any other way. It will lead to burnout. It will lead to you not loving what you do anymore because you're so wrapped up in the time and energy that everything takes when it could be so much different. It could be so much easier. And I don't see enough of you taking advantage of this. And that is what I want to change. And you don't have to wait for your business to be bigger or for you to have had more clients. This is stuff that you can and should be doing right now. Like I said, those uh, blog posts that I wrote however many years ago, I was still you know, barely making ends meet. I was, things were not going that well in my business, to be totally honest. But I kept looking for these opportunities and I did the work that I knew would continue to help me. So I wrote those blog posts. I worked with these brands that I really loved and really helped me. And I just shared the word. And look at this now, however many years later, they're still working behind the scenes for me. And if I wouldn't have done it, if I would have told myself, oh, I'm not ready or I need my business to be going well, I need a bigger audience, I need to have more clients or any of these things that you guys are telling yourself that are keeping you stuck, please stop waiting and start doing this work. It will help you for years and years and years to come, but you've got to get it out of your own way and start doing some of this. Okay, I'm off my soapbox. I got a little hot there because this is what I see and I don't want that to happen for you anymore. It can be easier. It can be simpler. So let's make it happen in your business. Not to mention, just as a side note, it is also very fun to make passive income. It is very, very cool to be sleeping or be doing something entirely different or Uh, be at lunch or on vacation or on a hike and get a notification that someone's bought something that's going to change their lives, that is going to help them immensely, and you didn't have to be hands-on with that entire process. Very, extremely cool and life-changing for everyone involved. So let's get you there. 
Let's talk about some of these passive income options that you have to add to your business, a lot of which I've already shared because I've done them too, but we'll go over them in a more succinct way so you have options to choose from. I do want to stop here quickly and remind you that this takes time. Don't expect to have 20 streams of income coming in by next week. This is something that builds over time, but you've got to get started now and really get clear and intentional about what you're doing and what you're building now. And then as you go, you will start maybe having more brands that you love, or you will have an idea for a course or a program or a masterclass or something like that, and it just keeps building. So let me make that clear right now. So don't get yourself overwhelmed and stressed out thinking you have to start working on all of these right away. These are in no particular order, just kind of how I was thinking of them. So just know that also. The first one being an ebook. Like I said, I created a four week program. It was just a digital ebook that I created on Canva and sold. And you can do that too. Something like a recipe book or a journal or a workout program. Is there anything in your business or in what you do with? clients that would be conducive to being in a book. It could just be an actual book too, uh, a writing. Is there anything that would work to be in an ebook? So obviously ebooks are typically really low price point. Mine sells for $19. I think that's a pretty average rate for an ebook, but a really great way for people to get an idea of what it's like working with you, to get their hands on some of the work you do, if you are like a recipe creator or something like that, in a very uh, digestible way and in something that is a really accessible way, you know, really low price point. So good option there. And that can just live basically on your website at all times with you kind of promoting it and building your audience around it and that kind of thing. And of course, like I mentioned, write blog posts that then link to it. That works well too. Uh, The next would be a paid masterclass, which could be either live or pre-recorded. So this would be if you want to teach on something that could be taught in like an hour or two and you can set it up so people join you live over Zoom or whatever and you teach on the thing, you give them some stuff to do in that one or two hours, and uh, they come away with some sort of small, specific transformation. So obviously, yes, masterclasses are best if kept small and if kept very specific. They are also a really great, again, kind of like intro to working with you because they're also usually a low price point. I would say under $100 for the most part would be an average price point of a masterclass, whether it be live or pre-recorded, doesn't matter. So again, something to think about in your business, if there's one very specific topic, one really specific thing that you could do where you're teaching and coaching and also giving a little bit of work that could be done in kind of a class format that is live or pre-recorded or both. So you can definitely do it live and have people come and attend and pay to be there live and then keep that recording and put it up as a pre-recorded masterclass on your website or just create a landing page for it if you don't have a website yet. And um, that can go on for years and years and years to come. That could be a passive income source for you. Number three, we have a paid challenge. A lot of challenges are free. That is kind of like a launch style that you can use to get people then into a bigger course or program from there. But you can also do it as a paid challenge. And I, again, would say this is a really low price point, like under $20 to have people join in this challenge where you're, you know, it's three days or five days and you're kind of work taking them through some work that again provides a transformation, a small transformation at the end and kind of takes them on this mini journey. Again, a really great way for people to get to know you and your work at a very low price point. And just as a side note, in all of these cases where you have a really low price point way of working with you, 
it almost always leads to them wanting to invest in another way to work with you that is most likely going to be at a higher price point. So having these low price point offers is essential to help your business growth. It's just a known fact that once someone pulls their credit card out to work with you once, they are much more likely to do so again. So it's really nice to have these low price point things that are always available, or maybe they do kind of come out and you promote them at certain times. That works too. But a challenge is one of those options. And most likely it will be with emails. You'll send an email with, you know, work for them to do a lesson and also potentially, uh, like I just did in my challenge, a podcast episode, or you could, and really you should also have a live component, a way to go live in a Facebook group that's private or uh, in a Slack group or on Instagram or something like that. So they get a little bit of live coaching in that challenge as well. Moving on to number four, which is online courses. If you have something in your business or something that you want to teach your dream clients, that is how to content. It like you will know if you have an online course within you, if you can think of a topic that starts with how to, like how to create a month's worth of meals in one hour, or how to read your own astrology sign, those kinds of things where it's really can be chunked down into a step by step tutorial of how to do this thing. That is what is good for an online course. If you have that in your business, then you can work with a, an online course creation platform. I love Kajabi. You can put all of your content into this platform, take these people through the process of learning that thing, and do so through video content, audio content, uh, PDFs, worksheets, guides, all of that stuff put it all into this one place and have people go through it. It's as simple as that. You have an online course, you have a place for people to go to learn how to do something within your area of expertise, your niche. Now you can also have a signature program, which is number five, and that is my love. That is what I teach and that is what I guide people through on how to create in their business And that is different than an online course. I did a whole podcast episode about this, but I'll share the debrief here. The main difference is with a signature program, it's guiding people along on a journey, on a transformation that goes beyond just how to do something. Now, you may be teaching how to do something within your program. You may be teaching how to do a lot of things, but it goes beyond that because it also provides the support and the community that an online course does not because you perhaps will be doing office hours or a group coaching call or, you know, and you'll have this community aspect as well where the group can kind of work through everything together too, which is just so powerful and not typically provided in an online course. And if it is, then it's not a course, it's a program and they're just calling it something different. So that's really one of the biggest differences is in that how to do something in an, of an online course versus let me guide you through this journey, this transformation, and, uh, and be there for support and encouragement as well. And because of that difference, then the other difference is in the price point. So online courses usually have a lower price point than a signature program, usually quite a bit lower because it's a lot more hands-off. There's not that support and guidance and encouragement that a lot of people need, whereas in a signature program, it's a bigger transformation than just how to do this thing. It's a bigger transformation. There is that support and guidance and there is that community. So that naturally comes with a higher price point. But the actual doing creating of the program is very similar to the course where you are figuring out what you want to put in that program, the journey that you want to take people on, what you want to include, 
what's important for them to know and learn and do, and creating the content and putting it into your platform for them to all go through. And then once that's done, it's done. So obviously signature programs are my favorite. I think, you know, I think it's the one that I am most drawn to and really wanted to help people with the most out of all of these because it's so impactful for both your clients, which is obviously really important. It's so impactful for your clients and for you and your business. It's just, I don't know, it's my favorite and I think it's the best. And if you're interested in having a signature program in your business, I would love to guide you through the process. Just go to seanminer.com slash bundle. Next, let's move on to talk about memberships, which is number six on my list. So a membership is a situation where you have someone paying your clients, paying you on a monthly basis or a yearly basis to stay a part of your membership. So you likely are giving deliverables to them every week or every month or quarterly, probably a combination of all of the above, and they stay a member to get access to that continued content, continued support, encouragement to be part of the community and the group, and everyone starts becoming friends, and then um, it's all a really fun, great membership. And people stay members for as long as they want. They cancel when they want. It comes and goes, it ebbs and flows, and that's how memberships work. And you are creating content for that membership kind of on a rolling basis, as I mentioned. There will be something potentially that you provide weekly, something maybe you provide monthly, something maybe you provide quarterly, yearly, and you kind of have to decide on what those would be and do them as part of your membership in order to keep your members. So that is an option for you too. And pricing for memberships, they're kind of all over the place, but you know, typically it can be somewhere between $20 a month up to $200 a month. Totally depends on obviously what you are providing, the transformation that's going to happen, and uh, the promise of your membership. Next, we have brand partnerships. So this is when we kind of switch and start talking about not things that you are necessarily creating in your own business, but ways that you are earning income for talking about other businesses, perhaps. And brand partnerships are a phenomenal way to do that. We are definitely in the area of affiliate marketing, and it works. Uh, I definitely purchase things when I see other people that I trust recommending them. And I also, I like talking about businesses and things and products that I love and that I use. And I think this is really important when talking about brand partnerships, and I think this goes without saying, but let me just say it anyway, uh, to partner with those brands that you really truly do love and use yourself and recommend and have experience with instead of just picking the ones that like pay the most money or something, which honestly I do think some people do, but let's not be those people. But yeah, if there are brands that you love, companies that you love, check out and see if they have an affiliate program or a partnership program. Some people call it different things and that's fine. It all means the same thing. And look into it and see if that works for you. See if that would be something to include in your business. Sometimes they're really good and sometimes they're not so good and it's not even worth it. You'll just kind of talk about it as you talk about it for free uh, because you love something and it's not worth signing up and, and going through that process. So make sure it looks good to you and then partner up with some brands that you love. And this is a great thing that you can include in your email newsletters, just talking about a brand or, or an experience with a brand that you love and why you love it and providing that link and obviously making it clear that you do receive commission uh, just to be totally transparent. But That is a really great thing to put in those emails, to write blog posts about, to talk about in your podcast episodes or your YouTube videos, and really create a great system where you are talking about things that you love and people are taking your advice, taking your recommendations, and getting that in their lives, and you get paid for it. 
How cool is that? It's a great, great thing. I do also want to include in this section working with supplement companies because I know I have a lot of health coaches and nutritionists and naturopaths and acupuncturists and all these wellness business owners, which is so amazing. And we all have a great opportunity to partner with the supplement companies that we use and recommend for our clients or that we have in stock or just that you would recommend anybody use. And get a really great uh, perk, a really great affiliate commission for recommending certain supplements. And again, don't recommend supplements you don't actually use or recommend just because you want to get their affiliate commission. That is not okay. But if you are already really using and recommending and putting a certain protocol together that has all these supplements, well, then you should be getting paid for that. That is totally okay. And so get that set up in your business ASAP if you work with supplements. So that's brand partnerships. Now let's move on to referrals. You referring people to other people's work. That's actually something I forgot to put in my list of um my income streams is referring people to other people's courses or to become clients of other people's and getting a kickback for that. So that's what I mean by referrals. If you have taken a course or a program or worked with someone that you love that really had a great product and now you would recommend that to somebody else, Well then, recommend it to somebody else. And before you do so, check in with them to see if they have a partner program. So I have a partner program for all of my courses and programs. And there are people who are in my courses and programs that then recommend, they sign up for the the partner program, and then they recommend them to their friends or colleagues or family members, and they get a payout because they just marketed my course for me. So of course I want to uh, give them a nice big thank you for that. So if there is anything in your life that you have had a great experience with, become a partner. And, you know, yeah, you can do word of mouth talking about it to your friends and colleagues. You can post about it. You can write an entire blog post about it. You can do a whole email uh, sequence around it, whatever you want to do as much as you or as deep as you want to go. Obviously, the more you do, the more commissions you will make, but that's up to you. And there's a ton that you can do. And you can even contact that person directly who you are referring people to and ask um, how you can participate. Maybe you can be a part of their next launch and they can provide materials for you to use and everything. So lots of ways you can do that. Number nine, we have content sponsorship. So this would be if you have a blog and you have advertisements along the side or along the bottom where people are essentially paying to or companies are paying to advertise on your content. Same thing with a podcast. If you have a podcast and you get sponsors on your podcast to kind of interrupt and create a commercial where they are promoting their company, their brand, their product on your podcast. And then same thing goes for YouTube. Content sponsorships, those can be really, really big and lucrative for you. They typically take a decent sized following. So enough people reading your blog, listening to your podcast, going on your YouTube channel in order to get that interest from other companies or brands and in order for it to actually be a decent chunk of change. But hey, even 20 bucks, who cares? Let's just get some passive income going. But yeah, it will take a specific, usually it takes a specific number for you to hit in that regard before companies will consider uh, partnering with you in, in that space. So keep that in mind, but content sponsorship is awesome. And I am actually still getting payouts from content sp- sponsorship from my past Uh, podcast from years ago, I'm still getting payouts from that 
as well, which is really cool. And that can be the case for your content as well. The content that lives forever. That's what we're really going for here. All right, we've made it to the last one, which I feel like is a kind of new passive income opportunity, and that is subscription-based content. I guess it's not new, but it just seems to be really taking off lately, I think because like you can do Instagram subscriptions now, you can do newsletter subscriptions now, and podcast subscriptions to where basically it means there's a specific type of content or level of content that is behind this paywall that only people that subscribe can receive. So you may have a podcast where everyone gets to listen, but then you have specific podcast episodes where only people who pay can listen. And same thing with newsletters. You might have you know a weekly newsletter, but then you give more specific, highly targeted, more valuable content in a newsletter that only people who pay can receive. And like I said, I think now Instagram has this way where you can have a subscription to where you only see certain extra Instagram posts or a part of a group or something like that on Instagram. So that is an option for you too. Again, something to just consider really in all these cases. It's something to really look at what you want to do, how you want to help people, what kind of services, what kind of help do you want to provide, and how can you package that up in different ways. And you can see that all of these are really different price points too, different ways that people can work with you at differing price points based on what they need, what their problem is, what they have access to. And that's really important too, is to have these different levels of access to you in your business. So like I said, as we wrap this up, like I said, I don't want you to hear this list and get overwhelmed and start thinking you have to do all of these right now. Instead, I want you to be excited and inspired by the amount of opportunity that is at your fingertips right now for you to make more money and work less while still helping a ton of of people, more people than you ever thought possible. That is so cool and so powerful. And that is the world that we are living in right now. We have this opportunity. We might as well make the most of it and start creating these other income streams in your business. Start doing this work to have these moments where you are just out doing something, you're out running errands and you get an email that someone bought your program or that you got a payout from a brand or you get an email that some brand wants to work with you and wants to sponsor your podcast. This is all possible for you. And if there's any even teeny tiny little voice in your head that is saying, well, it's possible for everyone else but you. If there's anything in you saying that, then we need to talk. <laughs> I want you to send me a DM at Sean Miner on Instagram and let's talk about that. Let's figure out where that's coming from and what we can do to prove that wrong. And I can tell you, like I mentioned, I am someone who has always been told and has always thought I have to work harder to make more money. And when I first, my very first opportunity to make passive income was with an ebook that is not out or it's so embarrassing that it's not even being sold super passively at this point. This ebook is in its grave, but I did uh, make my first sale of that ebook many, many years ago. And that was the first time I had the experience of not working harder to make more money. And it changed me forever because it changed that voice in my head, because that voice got weaker because I had evidence that it wasn't true, that it was possible for me, that even though I wasn't very far along in my business, even though I did not know what I was doing, even though I did not know the tech side of anything or how to do any of this behind the scenes, even though that first ebook was so embarrassing and ugly, it still helped people and people still bought it that is what I needed. And I will help guide you through 
that for you too. I just need to know where you're at. So send me a DM at Sean Miner over on Instagram. I'm hanging out there for the most part. And I hope this helps give you some ideas of where your business could go really, really soon and just chunk it down one step at a time. All right, until next time, take care. Hey friends, Sean here. And if you're a coach or practitioner who's looking to help more people make more money and have more free time, then I have a special invitation for you that you don't want to miss. Right now, I'm hosting a free masterclass that will walk you through the process of adding a signature program to your business. As many of you know, the signature program business model has been my primary way of doing business since 2017. And after seven programs of my own created and helping dozens of other wellness pros create theirs, I'm now sharing my exact process with you for free in this one hour masterclass. Now you might be thinking, Sean, I'm just not ready to have my own program yet, or I don't have the time to build a program right now. Are you crazy? I totally get it. I get all of it, which is exactly why I created this training in the first place. I want you to see how possible this really is for you and how simple it can be when you have a tried and true proven system in place, no matter where you're at in your business today. So if you're like most coaches and practitioners who have a dream of creating a scalable offer in their business that helps the people they're meant to help without it being directly tied to your time and energy, then there's a seat with your name on it inside my Burnout Proof Your Business Masterclass. In just one hour, you're going to learn why adding a signature program will uncap your income potential forever and give you more time for your own life, health, family, and self-care. You'll learn exactly how my client sold out her first program, even with a small audience, because of this one super simple marketing hack that I am going to reveal. You'll learn the simplified foolproof process that will take your knowledge and experience and turn it into your own program in just six weeks and also how to implement an automated marketing system that will grow an engaged audience full of perfect match clients that can't wait to enroll in your program once it's ready, even if right now you're starting at zero. All you have to do is head to seanminer.com slash burnout proof and save your seat for this masterclass before it's gone. seanminer.com slash burnout proof. Can't wait to see you there.